Hi everyone. This is Salman. I am an architect and today we will cover digital model making 101. I have always been fascinated by models as it conveys the sculptural quality of architecture. Physical models for sure have a tactile quality to them. And when the timeline is tight for a project, I like to at least present a realistic visual quality of a physical model with this technique. This work is by Franz Sylvester that I really admire and it inspired me to recreate the same style. This style of basic white models can help in light, shadow and formal studies in the early stages of design. It basically becomes part of the design process. and while going through different options you can easily update the model and visualize simultaneously so in this video i will share with you how to visualize a realistic digital model at the end i will share a preset and a template for you to realize your design quickly so without further ado let's get started now we are in the rhino window uh we have the views set up already and we have a uh, another model as well so we have two models in this file one is this model and so we'll start off with this model let's just set up the view uh the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up the vray asset editor and here we need to make sure that the rhino document sun is turned off so you can turn it off uh this way and then the other thing that we need to make sure is that here in environment we need to turn off the background so we need to uncheck this and if we look at the materials here is just simple white materials basic materials so nothing fancy nothing special just for the second model i just uh, changed the material uh, to reflective gray material to have a certain a different type of uh, visualization but then let's focus on this uh, so here if we set up the view so the environment is uncheck and then in the settings you can then change the quality of the image uh, so that's about it uh, that we need to check here so once you check these things we have the lighting setup so if we look at the lighting setup here uh this is a directional light which is here the direction light tool what this does is it's going to give us sharp shadows so let me show you what i mean by sharp shadows so either you could use the directional light tool or you can use the rectangular light tool uh which will give you a much smoother shadow compared to the directional light so the directional light sort of mimics the the sunlight itself so if you go back and we hit render so if we hit render this is still learning you can see the shadow is sharp here the render it's going to show up something like this which is still very light and basic compared to let's say this model so we, if we want to achieve this we have to take this model into lightroom so i'll fire up the lightroom now and let's move it there and 
apply our presets so in the same folder we have the lightroom presets these two presets depending on your model and the direction of the light you can like play with the settings here and you can apply the same settings but then it's gonna give you the same result so if you go back here I already opened the file but then just to show you how we can do this is if you go back here so this is the default uh, render from V-Ray Sets, both of these presets it's gonna show up here so you can easily see the difference from this default to the Lightroom preset which will give you this uh, quality of render but still you can go in here in basics and you can still work and set up different settings make it happen so that was all for now give me a thumbs up if you really like the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and download the free template mentioned in the description below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one